and uh, mistakes they commit are punished immediately by the national laws. So they are given two courses open to them, either to adopt this or to adopt that. And it is the survival of the fittest in the sense that the more intelligent, more conscious a being is, ultimately it breaks down to consciousness. I mean intelligence, as we study in, in the context of uh, the early life, is synonymous with the consciousness. So when I say intelligence, I mean consciousness. When I say consciousness, I mean intelligence. So their conscious, the level of their consciousness is uh, the determining factor for certain actions they take, for certain movements they make, and uh, if the decision is wrong, they are punished. With the result that more conscious a being is, the greater ability it has for the survival. Not applicable in every uh, aspect of human de uh, development of life, of course. There are so many other factors as well. But this is one of the prominent ones which I want to develop further to answer this question. This is why I am just choosing consciousness and its uh, role in the evolution. So this has become a preferred state, consciousness which ultimately grows into wisdom with the storage of memory, with interrelationship of that store, stored memory and so on and so forth. And then we realize that more the wiser an animal is, greater its, its capacity if other factors are constant to survive and uh, overcome the difficult, difficulties in its way of survival. So we are taught from that time that if you commit a mistake, you will be punished. If you do not commit a mistake, you will be rewarded. Although still it is comparatively unconscious decision as compared to human, as compared to human decisions and there is no morality involved, yet for billions of years we are taught and these things go into our genetic uh, course and they have become inseparable with our development. Reward and punishment. These are the two ultimate goals towards which life is being pushed on until the stage of humanity is reached. And for a long time, human beings are also trained without uh, addition of any moral system. In the same way, they have further evolved on the same lines. Reward and punishment, responsibility for one's actions, and ultimate achievement is subject to your effort, the effort you put in. Plus, the rightness of direction of that effort. If the direction of that effort is correct and right, that varies with the amount of effort you have put in, plus the manner you go about it, all these factors make you a sort of your, uh, uh, your own God in a limited sense. Now you are getting free from a sort of dest predestination. Although all things around are still predestined, the whole plan of your being is predestined, yet within that predestination, you are given, being given an elbow, room for elbowing. And more and more, option is being given to you. Until this stage comes, where suddenly it dawns upon you that there are two parts, not only of this worldly life, but of life to come. And it is there that the morality enters and religion begins. And before that moment dawns upon humanity, that is the early prophethood, everything
everything is well prepared and the man and man is fully equipped with all the necessary prerequisites for making his own decisions in important matters and realizing fully that there can be a supernatural being a god and there can be a system of morality as applicable to us as a system of uh, material pursuits was applicable to us before this and we will be rewarded and punished exactly in the same manner as we have experienced before when that stage reached then a new destination dawn or predestination dawn upon man and that was pertaining to his life after death and the rule the first rule was man shaaf al yawm wa man shaaf al yaqa because at, by this stage he was the man was fully capable of taking decisions and he was given total freedom with regard to his decision in one direction or another so that is despite the fact that the whole platform is predestined within that platform you are given room to move about like you can move uh, in 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 a plane in opposite direction to which plane is moving the whole thing is without your outside your control yet within that there is some space available look at this earth it is predestined to move in a certain direction and nobody can change a jot of its direction yet you are free to move about as if nothing is moving along with you you are free to do whatever you please so within the predestination there are spheres of destination controlled by you yourself and that is where punishment and reward um, appear in the scheme of things and you are made responsible for your own actions so these two things are not contradictory and paradoxical to each other they fit perfectly well within each other comparative to each other they are uh, uh, in full accord but there are so many other aspects for instance uh, of uh, disadvantages births advantages positions in life happiness and sorrow to be born with a silver spoon and to be born with nothing to be born in a wicked house to be born in a noble family and the comparative actions which are apparently out of control of a person who is born born in a certain circumstances all these factors plus the religious factors some are born in christianity some in hinduism some in some in confucianism and all this adds to the confusion of this destiny within predestination we appear to be free we appear to be responsible for our own actions yet we appear to be totally helpless within the sphere of our own decisions and freedom of our, of our decisions when you look at all these factors one feels disgusted and totally despair what he sees is apparently a, a, a freedom yet that freedom is checked from all sides and one is has enjoyed no freedom this is why one of one of the latest poets urdu described this situation yaan ke siyaw safed mein apna dasu jo hai so itna hai raat ko ro ro subho kiya aur subho ko joon tu sham kiya yaan ke siyaw safed you know siyaw safed means destination uh, and raat is siyaw and then is white us safed so how beautifully he has uh, played fun on this siyaw safed he says yaan ke siyaw safed mein apna dasu jo hai so itna hai 
रात को रोज रो रो सुबह किया 